All right, guys, back for another Building the Bag Cereo. Cereos? That's fine. That's a new kind of cereal, disc golf cereal. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're at another round in Charlotte, throwanotherround.com. Today, what are we going with, Joe? Take us in there. We're going to go with a company, it's a pretty small company. You guys probably never heard of it. It's called Innova Discs, <laughs> Innova. Uh, it is, uh, you know, it's been a staple forever for a reason. They invented all these mold types, shapes. Um, let's let's start with a putter. It, I feel an like AVR. It can, I feel like it can't be anything else. Yeah, I mean that's the, very interesting. Yeah, the this is probably what this is what like Ricky put with. It's pretty stiff kind though. Kind of judgy. A little bit. With the, uh... I wish we had some uh, some JKs or some more. We, we are so uh, spoiler. We are out of most all Innova right now, and we're having to go to the warehouse tomorrow and uh, get a restock on it's everything. It's a good so, to have, man. Yeah, no, it's stuff stuff moves off the shelves, and um, I, I think ABR is good. Yeah. I think that's what we should go for. So I can assure you uh, that my pick for this mid-range slot <laughs> would be this, uh, <laughs> but I, I I know based on what we've been doing in previous videos been trying to find discs that suit your game and stuff that you otherwise would have bagged which yeah i mean i i mean this i bagged the diamond for so long i'll and tell this you what is very similar i'll tell you what that's going to be our like one-off weird gimmicky disc that i'll go i've got some yeah we'll, some, we'll grab some one ones of over there ones that you um use. mako 3 okay is is really really good really straight sort of like a uh oh it's just a dead straight disc yeah it feels good um, I feel like that's one of the ones I hear the most of. Are there like, is there a Mako and then a Mako 2? There was, no, there was a Mako back in the day. This is a modified version of the Mako, which is flatter, a little bit faster. Okay. Um, I, I think that's, I mean, I yeah. know that everybody in the comments is going to be saying it has to be a rock. And we can look on the use rack and see if we have some. Though? No, they're really straight. Uh, I thought it was like yeah. a zero three. Uh, a rock, rock threes are really straight, or rock X threes are really straight. Okay. Just the regular old rock is super duper dead straight. Okay. Very similar to like a warship kind of a flight. All right. Um, so yeah, let's go with that. Comment what mold you think I should be throwing from Innova down below. So there's two choices to make here. Yeah. You either go Eagle or T-Bird. This is okay. Champ plastic. This is in G-Star plastic, which is a little bit softer. Yeah. Um, it's Eagles. What Calvin throws, right? Yeah. It's it's pretty stable. It, is it, it? And it's pretty, that, that one's pretty domey. So it's not going to be great on forehands. This has got a little bit of dome to it, too. It's just really what you f you like better, feel-wise. Zero, two. I mean, but but honestly, I feel like the, spoiler. Is that a leopard or a leopard three? Uh, this is a leopard three, and this is probably what would be my pick of the three of yeah. those. Because it's, it's I like I feel like uh, I agree with that. This is more like a... Um, like the best run of Maverick that you've ever thrown. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a better call. It's funny, uh, through all of these things, you guys can tell what my play style is like. Like, Heiser flips. A fairway that says negative 2 1 is like, yes, put that in my bag right now. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, these Halo Roadrunners <laughs> are. So, Roadrunner, for anybody that doesn't know, yeah. is negative 4 1. This flies like a beat in Thunderbird. Like, it is way more stable than That's the numbers crazy. say yeah but it's a it's magic it's really really fun <laughs> um the sidewinders are even a little bit more stable but i think that one is what i would pick for that kind of like nine speed yeah sort of like the lots but it's more stable than the lots that you threw that's kind of crazy i know the numbers yeah it's one of those things where the numbers don't make sense is it just because it's the halo plastic yeah it's the halo plastic and those discs in Champ, or really Champ or Star, but especially Champ, have been more stable than the numbers say forever. Okay. So like the old school patent good. number Star ones, super flippy and all that, but right. the new stuff is was wildly more stable. Okay. So obviously Destroyer is what they're like known for. Yeah. But in the same way that we've been throwing Grace instead of Rive, right. that kind of a thing, yeah. I think we need to go with the Wraith and- Okay. I found one earlier on the used rack. Ooh. That's Champ. It's a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit more stable than like a Grace right out of the box. Yeah. But I think that 11 speed for you is Yeah, I typically money. don't like to go 
further than that. However, the Beast is a disc that Barry Schultz made really popular back in the day. I, I, this it's is a what I used to throw. So like I would pick between the Wraith and the Beast. Ago. That, that's a great disc. That flies like a beat-in Wraith, but it's a little bit slower. It's a 10-speed. Yeah. But you, you make the call. Everybody's going to be screaming Wraith in the comments. Well, let's go with Wraith then. Okay, okay. That's fine. Because I have a Beast as well. So okay. I've thrown them before. I would always throw them on forehands, though. Okay. All so, right, so we'll go with these, and then we'll snag one of your Rolos, your Rolos one, to two, mess three, around four, with. Five. Yeah, so yep. we'll, we'll end up with six discs. Baco 3, obviously the AVR here. We've got the Wraith that we just grabbed. This Roadrunner, I think, is actually going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to throw that. And then the Leopard 3. So you guys comment down below if we're missing one of your favorite discs and what else you want to see me throw. All right, we've been doing these rounds for five, six, yeah. a lot of videos. Yeah, a lot of videos. Man. And there was nothing wrong with your bag. It was the old Carolina Clash bag. Yeah. But it was time for a real, Let's go. A real bag. This is the Squatch uh, Lore 2.0. They just remade it. Sick. Um, this kind of round is what I like to call top pocket round, meaning just whatever crap you want in right. the main in compartment, the and then just the few discs up top. What's wonderful about it is the bag's super, super light. Yeah. So I was just with them in Louisville last week. They they don't have to use bottom rails or any of that so kind of stuff because yeah. they use, like, this is not just marketing. It's like military grade yeah. materials. So you could just run this on the road yeah. and it, would, it wouldn't wear. Nice. So anyway, my favorite bag in the world, and now I it's can, yours. I could still fit like three discs in the top and still have everything else empty. Yeah. Coolers and awesome. Velcro, and it's all good. It's Let's good stuff. Go. Uh, hole one, Eastway, what are you going for? Because I've got to play out of your bag. You, you do. Yeah, so Joe's, Joe's throwing these two. Again, we've got the AVR. We've got the uh, Wraith, Champion Wraith. This Roadrunner I'm excited to throw. Got a Leopard 3. And then Rolo, which is going to be so much fun. And then the Mako 3 as well. Comment down below discs that you wish I would have thrown because after we finish this uh, initial series, I'm going to go back to the shop and start picking out some of the discs that you guys like. Oh, that's raved a fun about. idea. Yeah, I so love that. we'll do that. This is going to be going on for a long time. Whole one here. It takes a while to build a, a bag, like in actuality. It really does, because you have to break in things, you have to see how they work in the long run. And you're not, you're not doing just marketing, you're like trying to build a tournament bag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, you go with whatever you want to go with, and I'm, I'll choose something else. I'm going to go Wraith on a forehand, is that a bad idea? Nope, I'll go uh, Halo Roadrunner. First anything of the day. I haven't thrown a disc in a few days. <laughs> um, all right, ready? Ready. Oh, that one's actually kind of, okay. What's Maybe I put a little bit too much ante on that. <laughs> I, might, I might have just been completely wrong in the shop because the ones that I've thrown have been like But have crazy you thrown them on stable. forehands? Yeah. Interesting. I'm, no, I'm glad to know that though. Yeah. All right, Wraith here. So this I can give a little bit of ante. Yeah. Back door? It's in the circle for sure. Oh yeah, that'll putt. I'm going to go Rolo. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. And then it, and then it cut rolls left. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, well this uh, came in the back door really nice. So starting off with an easy little bird here. Nice putt. I didn't even have to putt with the AVR, so. <laughs> All right, so honestly, I feel like this is the perfect hole to test out the flights on all of them, except for the AVR. So like, I'll okay. throw, we'll throw them all. I'd... I'll go Leopard 3 off of this first. I'll go Wraith. There we go. Was it decently stable? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. You could probably throw it on some Annie, honestly. I'm throwing, I'm throwing the Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> Just vertical hyzer. <laughs> And like over here, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will it ever? No, it won't stable out. That's crazy. No, no, no. Yeah. Inbound. That's so funny. That one will stable back out. Should. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's 12, yeah. feet, 12 feet. 
All right, a little bit of a headwind out there too. Yeah. Leopard 3, this feels like a narrower disc. It's not bit. as wide yeah. as, I like that though. Lucid X Maverick. Nice shot. That thing kind of crushed. Yeah. That's a good drive. That's just fine. That'll work. I want to throw the, uh, the Mako over as well. Super, super straight. Holy glide. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice and stable. There we go. Really short. I'm going Rolo. Rolo. This ground is really bad. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It's so ridiculous. Is I it mean, fast? Okay. I mean, I threw that vertical. Yeah. And the little headwind picked up. Yeah. All right, I'm going to throw the Mako 3 here. That smoked. Good shot, buddy. You talk about a good freaking throw. Ooh. Hey. Nice. I was about to disc up to this. I mean, I'm still not even at a point where I need to <laughs> use the AVR yet. I mean. It's a good problem to have. That's a flex, and I love it. <laughs> that, was, that was probably 330 with that Mako. Heck yeah. yeah. I'm going to start off with the Roadrunner. I think that's the correct move. And then you can throw the... Uh, T-Bird 3 in that one? Leopard 3, yeah. Leopard 3. Beauty. Big flare. See how it flips up? Oh, yeah. That's oh, the yeah. backside route. Missed the trees. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to throw from Joe's lie here as well. He's on the phone. We're going to throw the AVR on a little turnover. Does it hold it? It doesn't hold it. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna pick the AVR up here and see if we can get a maybe a big birdie here. Oh, it's left. Good height though. Yeah, that's cool. I'm you doing I'm... the rollo on forehand? I'm going to try to go the, the trickiest trick shot route. <laughs> I've done it one time before and hit it that way, and it is wow. so satisfying. No, Ooh, more okay. hyzer. A squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that stopped rolling. Yes. Uh, I that like the line, sick. though. All right, I'm going to throw one on back, and this is my first throw with it. At slow speeds, does it still turn over? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it does only... It does only turnover things. So if I throw it flat at that tree. Oh yeah, it will never stop turning. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh well look at you me. with the absolute smoothest of smoothie boys. The touch, okay. Now uh, we know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a forehand with a AVR, which I don't think has ever been done. <laughs> ah, kind of stable. Dude. That was close. That was maybe two feet short, I think. All right. So let's go with, let's go Mako 3 on this first. Throwing it high on hyzer. Trying to push up to the basket. Oh, that's so inside. Push through. Throw the Roadrunner as well. This should be really nice here, actually. That one is down there. And then the Leopard 3 here. Well, all of them went through the inside gap. <laughs> all right, so the Leopard 3 and the Roadrunner are both in the same spot pretty much. Let's see if we can get this AVR up there. Nice, solid putt. Ah! 
<laughs> Too much hazard. I'm gonna try a forehand roll though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, I guess there's something about these rollos, y'all. All three of these are rollos. What the heck? That's so ridiculous. All three of these are Rolos. <laughs> and they're the closest to the basket. The mate goes over to the left a little bit, but that is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. <laughs> what a fun disc. All right, I'm just gonna throw a couple here. Let's see what this Wraith will do. Back door, back door, back door. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. <laughs> well, this worked out mighty fine with the race. Not too bad. other than this it's it's wrong <laughs> I think you could literally ace oh yeah hey oh right there yeah I think if you did a smoothie turnover it would it wouldn't flip okay I'm Just, gonna try it okay beauty what's fun is, ah. is you're throwing it like a 12% like a catch disc. Yeah. And I'll, it still pushes so far. I'll, I'll, uh, there's a little tailwind. I, I see the route in my head. I'm going to just try what I'm thinking. <laughs> ah! Uh, <laughs> there, oh, no, no, no. It had to be over there. Is no, there any? That was too close. Was it? There's no, there's absolutely no way. What if it kicked off of something? Please tell me that that's in. I think it chained out. Look where it is. Oh. It chained out. <laughs> You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Chained out right side, you think? Yeah. I mean, you guys couldn't have... Y'all couldn't hear the chains on these mics, but maybe it's I don't pretty know. ridiculous. Bummer. Dude, right. I'm telling you, man, backhand Rolo, I'll, I'll get it there. I'll set it there. But forehand's the fun line. You're, you've got it because you're babying it, and I love it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know that I've got it. <laughs> the forehand line's so much more fun. Yes. Hold it. <laughs> That's in the circle. That's so sick. <laughs> Ah, got to give it more height. I have to try the shot. I'm not going to backhand it. That's not fun. Yeah, I mean, both of those are essentially parked. <laughs> it just does roll of things, dude. <laughs> That's in the circle. That's so funny. That's like my Sampo, honestly. But I can throw it at such a lower speed. Yeah, right. I've got the MVP version of the Rolo, which is the Paradox. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah, touch chains. Is it, it is chained it in? Out. Chained out. Oh my gosh, Joe. That's crazy. I'm so sad. I feel like this uh, almost turned into a rollo round. I love it. It's all, it's what always easy. happens. <laughs> that's why. That's why every bit of content that I did for like four months. Always had Rolo stuff in it because it's just way too much freaking fun to throw. 
I cannot believe you chained out. Where did that one land? Over, uh, it was past. I already grabbed it. Dang. Needed to hit 5% more chains. Yeah. All right, final hole. We've got two chain outs. It's time to freaking do something fun. I'm just way okay. off on my aim point. I think that the uh, the height needs to, like in between all of those. Come on. Ah. No. That was the right angle I too. wanted to go like five feet to the left of that. I'm gonna try and go big turnover with this. Spark. Yeah, it's in the circle, wow. Well, the uh, Leopard 3 was nice here. Very nice. A fun little turnover. All right, I'm back home now after that round. That was a blast, especially throwing the Rolo and just messing around with that thing. That was a disc that I really, really enjoyed. Um, another one of the discs I enjoyed was the Mako 3. Uh, definitely had a lot of fun throwing that. And then the Leopard 3 as well was awesome. And then I, I think that the Roadrunner is one that I'll have a lot of fun with, especially this Halo one, um, because it is more stable. Um, so I will be going out in the next little bit, throwing these around some more, getting used to them. This is going to be a really long process. So again, continue to comment the discs that you guys want me to throw um, from all of these manufacturers. And over the next couple months, I'm going to be looking at them. Like there's so many to choose from. It's ridiculous. Um, but I've got a tournament this weekend that hopefully I can shoot really well at. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Appreciate y'all. See you the next one. Peace out.